Dean, thanks for joining me. Uh, how have the lads uh, dusted themselves off after last week's defeat? Yeah, we've had a positive response. We'll find out how positive it is come Saturday 5pm. Um, but training's been good this week. The attitude of our players has been uh, excellent. We debriefed the game on Monday and I've no issue losing in that manner. Um, you know, we dominated the game. Um, we got in some great areas. I think we had 14 attempts on their goal on day two on ours. So uh, we just lick our wounds and move on to the next game. Like I said to the players, getting across how we want to play. And uh, the, without having the real cutting edge on Saturday, and if we had had the cutting edge, we, would, we wouldn't have needed the refereeing decisions that didn't go our way. That's what we spoke about, really, making sure that when we're on top, we score. And uh, just managing the game better than them kind of scenarios. Torquay reached the uh, the playoff final last last season, uh, losing out to Hartlepool. And despite being mid-table, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a, a tough test on uh, on Saturday. It's top team, top manager, top top team. Uh, I think they come second last year. Realistically, I felt I know Sutton won it. I'm, I'm not being disrespectful to them, but I thought Torquay had a, an unbelievable effort because if you look at last year, they had a lot of injuries. They got quite a few this season as well, so they're picking up some injuries. They've been a little bit lucky. Gary knows the league inside out. And um, they're a good side. I'm only little seven goals from midfield. Some good players. Um, Going to be a very, very difficult test. And a team for me that will, in my opinion, will be in the top five. Cut out the errors. Even though we didn't make a lot of errors Saturday, we made two errors Saturday, um, individual errors. And uh, score when we're on top, I think that's the key, you know. Uh, some key moments were in the game. F's hit the post in a one on one situation. Got some great areas. And just be a little bit more cutthroat, really. Um, but that's football, you know, you see that at the top level. You know, you see Man City dominating the game and losing, you know, they're the best, or one of the best. So it happens at every level. But uh, once we continue to perform in the manner we are, we'll win, we win more games than we're going to lose. Uh, we're with another home game coming up, obviously, and, and a busy Christmas uh, schedule ahead of us. How important is it that we continue to pick up points at home and make this place a bit of a fortress? We have to. We have to. Uh, uh, points per game is what I look at personally. Um, we're a little bit below where we need to be collectively over the whole season over the uh, is it 15 or 16 games we played I think um, so we need to continue to pick up points and it's difficult to do in this business I, I spoke about after the game Saturday with yourself about Grimsby they've lost four in the bounce and all the teams I watch and I watch all the teams Grimsby were performing the best they out of nowhere they just lose four on the bounce that's how difficult the division is it's relentless it's rootless and we have to be at it every minute of every game and uh, our players have the attitude and, uh, and application and the appetite really to uh, to keep performing to the levels we are, and if, like I said, if we continue to do that, we'll win more than we lose. Ten pound tickets for for this uh, the Saturday's game is a great initiative, isn't it? Yeah, it's great, you know, especially in the London area, and especially coming to Christmas, people need that money, you know, save the pennies. But uh, it's brilliant from our football club. It's a great. Uh, hopefully, we get a good crowd as well, you know. No doubt, Torquay will bring a few. They're well supported, and hopefully, we get our supporters. We can really give them something to sing about. They were outstanding last week. Our supporters, amazing. And you know when you've played well. And your supporters clap you off when you lose. And uh, our players are giving everything. We'll continue to do that. And hopefully this weekend we can have a good cheer if we can uh, gain a victory. As you just mentioned there, they were superb at, at the Wealdstone. Uh, and, and I'm sure they'll be the same again on uh, on Saturday. How important can they be in, in games like uh, like tomorrow? Yeah, they're huge now because we're starting to create a bond. A real bond uh, between player and supporter. And the club, you know, it's a, we want to create this togetherness. That That's created. It doesn't just happen. You can't talk about it. You have to do it. And uh, we've had supporters watching us training, they come down, they interact with the players. You know, it's, we've got an open door policy here. We want all doors open and we want to create a togetherness, which is, which is massive. It's the only way you have success in this business. And uh, hopefully long may it continue.